Good morning, Primetime Squad. How is everybody doing this fine afternoon or morning, depending on where you're tuning in from? I hope all is well. Your girl, Miss Primetime TV Media Reviews, is here to break you a little news. Lately, there has been a string of rash robberies, thefts, um, to nursing homes. Like, basically, it seems to be an organized, organized, um group of thieves that are women that seem to be targeting senior living communities or nursing homes um, in Missouri, Illinois, Nebraska, Kansas City, Oklahoma. Um, the group is a well-organized uh, group of ladies. They're dressed in scrubs, looking like they work at the facility, and they come into the community portraying, them, portraying themselves as private duty staffs. You know, like they're there from a agency, like a temp agency or a nursing agency to fill in, you know, a space for, you know, you know how it goes when a nursing home got too many people off their shift for sick or whatever. They got to call in staff for those nursing agencies so they're claiming to be private duty staff they don't sign in they disperse throughout the facility very quickly hitting resident rooms staff offices break rooms etc and then they leave very quickly in a waiting vehicle um the facility in columbia that was targeted said that one of their staff members had her wallet stolen last summer and has several thousands of dollars charged on her credit card before she was aware. And they had a situation last week where two individuals dressed in scrubs attempted to gain access to the building but were stopped by front office staff. So, in light of the potential threats, please take the necessary steps to ensure the safety and well-being of your team and residents. You know, if you happen to be working in a nursing home or have, you know, somebody living in a nursing home, make sure you contact your nursing home and make sure they're making the necessary steps to make sure that your loved one who's living in a nursing home is, you know, safe and protected. Now, recently also... In Omaha, where I'm from, there was also an incident where a lady in this picture, she had came into a nursing home and sat down in the facility, in the lobby, in scrubs, looking like she worked there. And as soon as somebody stepped out of their office nearby her, and walked away from their office, this lady in this picture quickly went into the office, looked for that lady's purse, grabbed her purse, grabbed her wallet, and within two hours, two hours, had racked up over $10,000 worth of merchandise. One of the locations where she happened to be shopping was Victoria's Secret. And I'm like, okay, no shade, no shade. Me and her about the same size. We about the same size, so y'all know where I'm going. Victoria's Secret, unless they done change um, their uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> attire or their products or their merchandise recently and didn't tell me, they don't serve as women our size. They, they, they don't. They don't. So it's obvious that this particular person was not stealing for herself. I'm thinking it's probably a ring of ladies who are boosters. It's around the tax season. A lot of ladies, a lot of women, mothers are going to be, you know, getting back a lot of money for claiming taxes, you know, for their kids, getting the kick kickbacks, you know, for claiming children. And they're going to have money to spend. And like I said... She ain't stealing Vicky's for her. <laughs> she is not stealing Vicky's for her. But not only that, like I said, there's other locations where these robberies are occurring. Um, authorities in Oklahoma and Kansas, you know, they're looking for two women who stole personal items from multiple nursing homes um, recently, two of which were in Kansas. Um, one of the employees at the nursing home there at Wheatland she had encountered a woman who looked, you know, like she was out of place. And then she noticed two women roaming around the building dressed in scrubs. Um, 
But when she approached the woman to find out, you know, who they were or if they were lost or if they needed anything, the women told her that they needed to use the restroom, but managed to steal, steal an employee's wallet during the seven minutes they were in the building until they were escorted out. So, you know, again, you guys, if you are working in nursing homes or have family members living in nursing homes, especially if you're working there, be vigilant. Uh, you know, as you go about your daily routines, if you see someone in the building that you do not recognize, please don't allow them to roam the building unattended because they might steal something from you or one of your co-workers or one of your residents. So make sure you watch for any suspicious activities and report all incidences immediately to a supervisor or administrator. Try to keep all valuables locked up in a, in, in a secure place and you know do what you need to do to keep your environment safe for your team and your rev residents and hopefully these ladies who are doing these ring of robberies will be caught now the picture that's in my uh in my video right now of this lady she was the one who hit up a facility um florence nursing home in omaha nebraska i'm gonna show you another pic this pic is of the ladies in kansas now if you ask me this lady on the left she looks really really familiar huh huh let me go back to the ladies who hit up the florence nursing home in omaha nebraska Look at her. Look at her. Matter of fact, let me see if I can get a side-by-side. -side. Hold on one second. Let me see if I can get a side-by-side. -side. Uh, uh, and this is like, this is really crazy because it's like, I mean, of course, some people is like, well, why weren't there things locked up regardless and that's how i feel honestly i'm like why weren't they stuff not you know locked up regardless because every location that i've worked um no matter hold on i found a picture right here let me get her picture i want to put it right next to this one so we can see some resemblance here or not okay now y'all tell me don't that look like the same person to you? It it, it kind of looks like the same person to me. I mean, one of them is in black and white. One of them is in color. But the facial features kind of look very similar. So, again, if you've seen this lady right here walk up in your nursing home, or if you know them and... um. You recognize them, contact your local authorities or the Crime Stoppers number at the bottom of my screen, 402-444-STOP. Or whatever your local Crime Stoppers um, phone number is, contact your local authorities. If you see them in your nursing home, try to make sure you alert security, alert the administrators, keep your eye on them, and try to, you know, don't confront them because you never know. You never know. They could have weapons. You never know. So anyway, in the meantime and in between time, Prime Time Squad, make sure you click the like button on this video. Make sure you share this video because this video needs to go viral. You never know when they might hit up your facility where you work at or hit up a facility where one of your loved ones live at. So again, make sure you share this video, like this video, and please subscribe to my Tanya's live primetime TV media reviews and celebrity news YouTube channel. Thank you very, ki very kindly. And in the meantime and in between time, primetime squad, stay safe, be blessed, and I'm out. Deuces.